What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and in today's video, girl, we're talking about busted ass Kim Kardashian makeup, girl. All right, so here's the tea, honey. So you already know, Kim Kardashian is selling those little sticks, girl, that break off. So my fat ass was just on YouTube, girl, looking around, looking for drama, and I found it, honey. Now, you know me, honey, I don't like to gossip, I don't like to spread rumors, and you know, but I'm gonna tell you, girl, but you ain't hear it from me. So, they're just makeup artists, right? And this is the same one. One. This is the same one that Manny Amy Wayne was throwing shade at, girl. I found him in the house. So, anyways, I was looking at her Instagram and her video. I love her so much. So, this is the video where he buys the makeup for himself, girl. And you won't believe the drama that happened. So, let's watch the busted ass video. Let's go. All right, guys. Welcome back to my channel. This is a very different intro, as you can tell, because I didn't get past the highlight and contour. I didn't even get to the foundation part, um, because this product was, it was, it, keep watching this video, your jaw is going to drop. Here, say that I thought that this packaging was mediocre. Really, Kim Kardashian, like, you're gonna send us stuff in the bag with the ingredients in the bag? I just thought that was super tacky. Um, I expected some really pretty packaging as far as, like, the boxes and some just really pretty packaging from Kim Kardashian's brand. So I'm gonna open right in here, and this is where the product is. So this is sealed, guys. It's my first time opening it. The actual product is pretty. It's a pretty color. Um, let me just open it up to feel it. So, we have the two sticks, the highlight and contour sticks, and then we have the brush. So, the brush also comes in this little package here. So, I'm going to get it out of here. Um, I'm not going to lie about this. I This is very, very small. Also, very basic. I love the color of the packaging. I love that it's semi-matte. Um... It's just really basic. So here's one of the. So here's one end. And oh my gosh. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? Like, this is all the product you get? Whatever. Alright, so there's the other side, which is a lighter contour. <gasps> what the hell? Look at this! Look at that! That's not... Oh hell no. That's some BS. You guys saw me open this. Look at that scraping at the tip right there. This is the lid that I just popped off of it. There's nothing in it. It didn't stay on the lid. That lid is clean. And I haven't even popped open this highlight part. Wow. Wow. Look at this. Look at that. I'm about to open the opposite side. <laughs> it has like lint on it. Okay. I literally just needed like a moment to just process what just happened. I swear to you guys that I just opened this package and you know what I'm not I'm really upset I'm really 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 upset and the reason why I'm upset is because I'm not gonna sit here and throw like you're Kim Kardashian you're blah, blah. no 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 it doesn't matter if you're Kim Kardashian 
or somebody who doesn't have even a celebrity name. It doesn't matter if you are NYX Cosmetics or Tarte Cosmetics or MAC Cosmetics or KKW Beauty. It doesn't matter if you're ALF Cosmetics. This is unacceptable. No customer should ever, ever have to experience receiving product in the mail that they paid a lot of money for. By the way, speaking of money, guys, this these three little things retail for $48 plus tax, and I'm assuming they ship out of California or maybe even LA. I live in LA County, and I still have to pay, I think, $8 for shipping. So I paid over $60 just for this one package. You know, I think the reason why I'm very upset is because I've always, always loved Kim, her style. I admired her hustle. I admired how far she's gone. It doesn't matter what people say about her. I'm not her biggest fan, but I'm, I don't hate her. Oh, what is this? Look at that. There's like green glue on there. Can you believe that? If this is any indication of what's to come with the Kim Kardashian makeup girl, I don't want to be part of it at all, honey. And if you clock at the house, Kylie Jenner's makeup is always coming up, typos the house and packaging wrong. So I'm like, maybe this is going to be a trend, girl. Like, I would buy makeup from Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. Not so much from her. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I don't know. I think, um... Will people continue to buy Kim Kardashian's makeup? Of course. The you slap that name, people are gonna buy it, girl. But it's people like it's people like JC and drama channels who are opening up the eyes of the average consumer to know to wake up, honey. Don't get gooped the house. So if it doesn't break off, it's gonna be all scraped up. Now, as a consumer, I was like, girl, I don't think I'm gonna want this makeup, girl. As much as it's getting plugged all over the internet. And the restock's coming up, girl. I'm like, it's going to break off. Or it's going to be damaged the house. This is something I don't want none a part of, girl. And did y'all hear that drama that was happening with Stephanie Nicole? Like, the rumor was Morphe was telling her to take down her videos. Allegedly, my opinion, my conspiracy. Girl, what happened to free speech, girl? What happened to us just voicing our opinions, honey? Oh yeah, so my fat ass went on over to the store, girl, and I got me some and I got me some stuff I want to try out. So this is this little elf tin can thing, girl. So it, this was like three dollars, right? And you probably seen this all before. So you open it up, and there's nothing in there, and it's a hinge, so it's not gonna fall out. So you can put it in your purse and stuff like that. So what I like about it is I can put my makeup in here, like nothing major, just like a few things. I can put it into my bag and I don't have to worry about exploding or it spilling out or anything like that. So then I went in and I got this pencil and I was like, girl, duo stick, girl. And I was like, this would be perfect for my eyebrows. Girl, she don't want to come out, she don't have to tear it. All right, here we go. All right, so this is the, this is the light part and this is the dark part. So what I would use it for is for the light part, right? No. Because I'm a professional makeup artist, hi. Huh? We're gonna put a little bit here. I'll put it right underneath the brow bone, right? I wanna see if it picks up. Wow, 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 look at that. See how it just makes your, oh, girl, these eyelashes are so long, can't even get it on. But you see how it just kinda like makes it, makes your eye, oh, there we go. So it makes the eyebrows pop a little bit because you, you're adding like, making it look lighter underneath. And then of course you have to like blend it out or whatever. But I'm going to do it up here. You can see it more. Girl, I got to shave these eyebrows. They're busted at the house. All right, you see that? All right, this is the first time me using this thing. So girl, I'm going to sit here and act like it works when I don't even know if it does or not. But I'll just blend that shit out. I'll just blend it out, not bother. Girl, I think I messed it up. But I think you get the point of what I'm trying to do, right? I don't know, I think I have to, I think I'm gonna have to apply it when I have these lashes and this blue underneath, girl, so I can get it a more streamlined look. So we'll talk about it in another video if it's sickening the house or not. But I'm just gonna put it in here until then. 
But as always, girl, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you like the video, share it. If you didn't like the video, send it to your haters, though, and they watch it. Lost 10 minutes of life. They'll never get back. All right, see you next video. Peace.